Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Common English Mistakes. Don't just learn, improve. So today we're going to look at a preposition phrase uh, mistake which my Spanish students make a lot. Uh, I think because that's the preposition they would use in their language. But I think this is probably the same for all languages because it's not terribly obvious which preposition you need. So we're going to look at this mistake, how to avoid it, and also a useful rule in two different situations. We've also got another couple of confusing phrases. And finally, one preposition mistake which a lot of people make, uh, which is going to be useful for you in class, in the real world, to expand your vocabulary. But anyway, the mistake is up here. Your car is the same that mine. So just pause the video and try to correct the sentence. And well done if you said your car is the same as mine. The same as for when two things are identical. And we're going to use this with either a noun, pronoun, like the example, or maybe verb ing. The same that we can use, but you need to use that with a full clause. For example, your car is the same one that I have. I have is the full clause. And the reason we use as is this is the preposition we use when two things are the same. For example, we use this with jobs. I work as a teacher. My friend works as a plumber, whereas if it's similar, we use like. For example, the phrase, he works like a dog, meaning very hard. Another couple of examples here. Our boss treats us as equals, as in we are all the same. Or maybe she's from Spain, but she speaks English like a native speaker. Sometimes you can use both and there's going to be a difference in meaning. For example, I want to cook as my grandmother did means sort of in the same way, using the same tools. Whereas I want to cook like my grandmother did is talking more about the quality. And this one's much more common. I would say as is a little bit more difficult to use and it's generally used with very specific verbs. Like the example, treat. And generally it's verb, treat, someone or something, as. So, our boss treats us as equals. Or often you can just put it in the passive. We are treated as equal. And it's the same for these verbs here, both in the active and passive. For example, people see rock climbing as dangerous. Vincent van Gogh is widely regarded as one of the greatest artists ever. Uh, widely regarded, always a good collocation to learn. Uh, he introduced her as his colleague. And then maybe I used a newspaper as an umbrella or what he said was accepted as fact. So that's the difference between like and as. Uh, a useful one to know, especially if you're doing FCE, CAE, uh, they love testing this in Use of English Part 2. I'm going to put a link in the description to a website with a list of verbs which use as. Um, it's worth studying that, will really help you. So anyway, moving on, another preposition phrase mistake. I liked the meal apart for the dessert. Uh, just pause the video, try to correct this one. Uh, there are two different ways to correct this, so see if you can get both of them. And well done if you said, I like the meal apart from the dessert or except for the dessert. Fantastic if you've got both of those. So they basically mean the same thing except this is the only one which is different, or just besides, a direct synonym. I'd always say, though, a phrase is going to be much more natural, so a good one to use. Just make sure you study these, write them, say them, whatever you need to do so that it's automatic, you know, apart from, 
except for automatically. And the final mistake is up here. Uh, hot is the opposite to cold. So just pause the video, try to correct this sentence. And well done if you said hot is the opposite of cold. So opposite of uh, when you're talking about things which are completely different. You could say opposite to if you're talking about location. For example, I live opposite to a school. But really, that preposition is optional, and I generally don't think people use it. You just say, I live opposite a school. And this is a very useful one for you to know and use, uh, because a word that you don't know, often you know the opposite. So, for example, you can ask your teacher, someone you're speaking to, what's the opposite of polite? And they'll tell you rude. Good way to build up your vocabulary verbs, adjectives, etc. So anyway, explanation over. Um, as ever, because I work like a dog to produce these videos, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I really enjoy making these videos apart from when people don't subscribe. So do that now. Uh, when you're ready, let's practice and improve. Just pause the video and put the correct preposition into the following sentences, thinking about what we've learnt in today's lesson. And well done if you said, I want to cook like Gordon Ramsay, in a similar way, similar standard. Uh, I feel silly when someone's wearing the same thing as me, exactly identical. Uh, nightclubs are the opposite of my idea of fun, and then I enjoy most music apart from reggaeton. Sorry if we've got any reggaeton fans here. Uh, maybe you say, I use this channel as a way to improve my English. Uh, and finally, uh, I like all vegetables except for parsnips. That's a parsnip, absolutely horrible. So now just pause the video and write, say, or discuss the same sentences for you. And finally, today's question, uh, what do you regard as a great movie? Write your answers in the comments, guys. Interested to hear about your movie recommendation. So anyway, that's basically it for today. Um, a lot of mistakes from these ones. Uh, so do make sure you learn the same as, apart from, except for, um, if you do that, you're gonna avoid those. Uh, also though, do try to click on that link and do some extra study on the verbs which use the preposition as. This should really, really help you. Other than that, I'll see you for another video in the next few days. So until next time, see ya.